Yo, what's going on, my boy? Nobody's here. Bring it to you guys today. Welcome to my channel. Do all things the algorithm lights. And welcome to a new episode of Where Is. Yes, I said Where Is. Now, for those of you who are new around here and don't know Where Is, is Where Is is a series that I used to do back my first time trying to do content creation, you know, before I, I, I quit on it because, you know, it's hard. But originally, I had a series called Where Is. It was my most watched series on, on, on YouTube. Um, it was a series where I talked about games that I felt like deserved a prequel, a sequel, a remaster, reboot, just basically any video game where I felt like we should see it again because we haven't seen it in a while or forever we haven't heard anything about from the ip so today's video we're not doing a, a, where it's about one game we're doing where it's about some of the old videos recently got a comment on one of my videos where it is asking for an update on one of the games so i figured i'll do an update video in general we can, we can do a where it's update where we talk about the updates for games that are a part of that where it's um, series that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about we're gonna give you guys some updates on some of the games that I covered for where it is. Certain things off with Star Wars or Republic MMO. BioWare says they love to, to port the game to consoles, but it's you know a challenging task. You know, this is a recent thing BioWare said. You know, I did a video talking about you know Star Wars or Republic coming to PlayStation and Xbox and how you know I, I would love for it to be on consoles, things like that. But BioWare, you know, it's, it's it's a very hard thing to do. The game was built from the ground up for PC and it would be pretty much much had to be rebuilt for consoles in order for it to be a thing, which is in general a very hard thing to do with you know development work. Um, you know, and just you gotta, you gotta remember how old this game is and how little support this game gets from from EA in terms of mon mon money and resources. So in order to to be able to rebuild this game for consoles they would need those resources from ea and ea likely doesn't see the value in spending that necessary money for such a, a, a feat to be a be a thing because this is an old game i'm sure ea would much rather be like a brand new you know star wars mmo over you know basically rebuilding one of that like you know, the old public just to put it on, on consoles so you know basically just view this update as bad news you know as in we probably won't see this game coming to consoles at, at all and you know, I kind of understand. Cause Jeff's gonna remember this is a, this is a, a subscription-based um, MMO, and PlayStation has Final Fantasy uh, 14 kind of subscription-based MMOs, but subscription-based MMOs are rare on Xbox. So you'd imagine that that's also like a hurdle that they don't they, it's like go over that they don't, they don't necessarily want want to have to deal with the hurdle of trying to put a subscription-based MMO on uh, on the Xbox that isn't where, where the player base isn't used to it. The next game for our wearers update is Crisis 4. Last year, developers at Crytek announced Crisis 4 is in de develop development. I'd imagine this game is in the earliest stages of, of de development. I think that they are still, I think they're still hiring for some positions to work on the game. That doesn't necessarily mean the game's not being made yet. They probably already have like a general concept done for the game. They probably already have like, you know, a, a script written, written for the game, but it's, it's other details that they're just still hiring for. Even the title itself is being considered a working title. So it might even be Crisis 4 it could be a crisis prequel or a reboot or a remaster it could be you know something said in it and the far future it could be anything other than just crisis 4 but right now they're calling it crisis 4 because it's as they themselves said a working title so good news if you're a crisis fan you know the update for, for crisis 4 is, is is a thing Dragon's Dogma 2, we were told Dragon's Dogma 2 was in development in a recent Capcom keynote in a last week at time recording this video at the PlayStation Showcase, we got to see a gameplay cinematic trailer of Dragon's Dogma 2, so one of the best RPG experiences is back and hopefully even better than what we experienced with the, the original, so again, more good news, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a thing. The Elder Scrolls 6, we all we know it's, it's in development, we saw you know it being announced and teased at the Xbox showcase of, um, a few, year, few years ago. Um, one could imagine that after Starfield releases, we'll start seeing more information about Elder Scrolls 6. Since that Xbox showcase a few years ago, we have seen nothing. Like, we know Elder Scrolls 6 is a thing, it's a confirmed thing, is we know it's in development, we know Bethesda said it's in, in pre production, you know, a few years ago, so it's probably likely farther ahead than that now. Um, but we have, we have like we have radio silence on, on this game since then. But like I said, I feel like once Starfield releases, Bethesda will shift to focusing on Elder Scrolls 6. I don't see them wanting to like put too much focus on multiple big IPs. So I see Bethesda want to focus on one at a time. So once Starfield is done, then we'll start hearing more and more about Elder Scrolls 6. Uh, we'll start getting more information. We'll start, we find, maybe we'll see more about, um, you know, the, the settings and things like that. We do know that the game's going to be set for like at least one main location being Daggerfall. Um, but considering how, how massive consoles are nowadays and PCs nowadays, you can probably assume there will be more than just Daggerfall. But we do know via that, that trailer that they showed years ago that Daggerfall is going to be like one, at least one of the main locations. But also possibly you could imagine you'd be able to go to Hammerfell as well because Hammerfell is right next to Daggerfall. 
So there's that. That's pretty much all we know when it comes to Elder Scrolls 6. A new Metro game is in development. We did a video talk about a new Metro game uh, for where it is. And there are some beliefs that it will be launching next year. So like, even though we haven't had an announcement yet, there's beliefs that we'll be getting the, the, the new Metro game next year. Usually if there's a new Metro game, there's also a new Metro book. So if, you look, if you're into the book franchise, you look forward to that as well. Um, it's believed the new book is being worked on would be great because metro metro games are some of the best games at period like if you've never played a metro game you need to they're, they're massive gems of just masterpiece works of art and gaming um but yeah i'm, I'm happy to hear that there's a new metro game in developments exodus was phenomenal if you haven't played exodus you need to so i'm curious on what's gonna happen next I'm curious what the book's gonna be like as well because i do like to like like this myself some more good news we're getting a lot of good news in, in, in this update video for where is so um Ryan Son of Rome. I did a video about you know Ryan Son of Rome. Why should get a sequel or you know just something set in a, in a universe? Well, back in April, Crytek, some people who made Crisis, the Crisis franchise, we did what we covered earlier in this video, asked followers on social media about their favorite memories from Ryan Son of Rome, which created a storm of people talking about their love and favorite moments for the game, and it's believed that this was a, a test to you know gauge the interest of a sequel or a similar game um, as Ryan Son of Rome from 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 Cry, Crytek. Much like a crisis, it will be in the earliest stages of development if it is true that you know, this was a, just a teaser to, to gauge interest. You know, crisis, we at least have uh, uh, information that, that they're working on. We have information that it could be called Crisis 4. A new Rise game, it will, it will, it will probably just be at, at like the idea stage of game de development. But it is still good, good news and, and great to hear that um, Crytek is, is definitely you know, gauging the interest on you know a new rise game or a new game similar to rise you know it could be like a different time period like you know the persian perspective or feudal japan or um ancient china things like that it could be anywhere other than ninjas you know the the the, the setting that, that rise had the tone dev company known as ubisoft did announce the splinter cell remake last november um which ubisoft said was in the very early stages of the development it will be safe to say that an actual new title will be a long ways way though because just consider that like if you're looking for a new splinter cell game which my video for warriors was about a new splinter cell game not a remake even though warriors like i said can be about remakes as well um if you're looking forward to that then you should probably just just like hold off because chances are it's probably like just too far off because if they're at the earliest stages when it comes to a remake then a brand new game is probably like just even further off than that the last game we'll cover in today's warriors update is fallout new vegas fallout new vegas is considered by many to be the best fallout game and was the last fallout game developed by the original developers from whom work for obsidian um obsidian often makes comments about how they love to, to make a, a new fallout game and with xbox by bethesda that got fans thinking there is a reality to a new new vegas uh co coming out even recently obsidian bethesda have said it's possible bethesda said a fallout game in general is in the very early stages of, 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 of uh, production Right, let's Fallout 5 or Fallout New Vegas 2 is obviously an, an unknown, but there is a chance and for, you know, as long as Obsidian and Bethesda are both on Microsoft, there will always be a chance for a New Vegas sequel to be released. So there you have it. There's our update for where is our update on some of, the, on some of the games that I feel like are the biggest games that I that I cover. I cover more than just those games, but I feel like those are the bigger games that, that I cover and people will probably want information on. And so you, now you, you guys know what's going on with, with, with those franchises, what's going on with those IP and those games. Um, I might bring the, the, the where series back in general. Um, like I said, was my most watched videos when it came to me doing it. The thing about it is like you gotta have ideas to so keep a, a, a kind of like a, a niche series like that existing in. You know, generally because my, my my videos, my content, I do videos about things that I care about. So I covered games that I care about. So right now, there's not really a, a lot of games that where it's like, ooh, I need to see a prequel of that, or I need to see a sequel of that, or I want to see a remake of, of of that. You know, if if some if I if I, my brain finds some games, you know, in my my childhood or whatever, where it's like, ooh. And then yeah, we'll see some more awareness videos. We'll see. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed being boy Nubis. Do all these other likes, like the video, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, link me box below, as well as my link tree, which you links all my channels, including my reaction channel, my comic book channel, and my sports channel. Um, you know, so if you watch my videos for archery, the sport channels which you want to follow to see more of those bows back back there. So anyways, like I said, no, I'm being boy Nubis. I'll catch you guys next week. Y'all stay safe. You have a good morning day. I'm out of here. Deuces.